drug. So Junto Nakatani making his debut at 115 pounds against a very experienced Francisco Rodriguez. And Rodriguez, the former WBO IBF strawweight world champion. In the silver trunks with the blue trim, the Mexican flag on the waistband. Nakatani, the hometown Japanese fighter. In the white trunks with the yellow and red logos around it. And Jamel, you talked about Francisco Rodriguez and the record, you know, 36, five and one, just 30 years old, but very similar to Masayoshi Nakatani, who we saw in the, in the previous fight. The fights that Rodriguez has lost over his career have been against really tough opponents. You go back to 2013, he lost to Chocolo Tito. Uh, you go back to 2015, he lost to uh, Donnie Nietes in a WBO light flyweight championship bout. September of last year, he lost to Kazu Uto, uh, Ioka, you know, so these are guys yeah. that are, are well known oh. and Francisco Rodriguez, you know, five losses, but against really tough competition. And like I said, 30 years old, he, he's, a, he's a seasoned vet. He's a seasoned vet. He has a lot of experience under his belt. And he's been in there with some, like, again, like you pointed out, some stiff competition. So good. I know, I know it's Nakatani on right now. He's fighting out of the sophomore position. So you have to also watch out for a clash of hands. We've seen the last two fights that we've seen, you know, end up having with cuts because yes. of clash of heads and such. Nakatani, the lefty, undefeated, 23 wins, 18 by way of knockout. He won the WBO flyweight title that was vacant back in 2020. He made a couple defenses most right. recently Switch. in April of this year. Notice on Rodriguez switching to um, Southpaw as well just <laughs> a few seconds ago. Watch his heads. And they're both fighting in the sophomore position. It's the natural position for Nakatani, who scores with the looping right hook. And the problem with Rodriguez right now, he, he's, he, he's, too, he's too impatient. He's, he's just trying to, and he's throwing two from far out. That's why he ends up leaning over his front, his front foot, and he got caught right there. A couple overhand lefts from Nakatani. Now getting in on the inside. Six punches in a row unanswered by Junto Nakatani. Rodriguez coming off a couple of wins this year. One in July, a 10th round unanimous decision victory over Eric Lopez, and then one in January, a knockout victory in the seventh round against Arnulfo Salvador. And you can see right now, Rodriguez is anxious to get to him. Again, he gets caught. He gets. I mean, he, he'll get some in, but over time, he, he's gonna. He probably, he's gonna land to something, something big. If Nagatani, um, you know, takes time to, to look at what's in front of him, when he, when when Rodriguez plunges in like that, he, he the the uppercut is right there because he's coming straight down. He's jumping straight down the middle. Rodriguez, that is. Nagatani with the. Three inches height advantage, two inch reach advantage over Rodriguez. And Nakatani landing some good power shots there in round number one. And again, let's mention, let's take time to mention that um, Junto Nakatani is being trained by Rudy Hernandez, who has a, a, a good stable and, and two of the fighters under his belt. Um, Rudy Hernandez has been, uh, um, uh, he's, like, like you know his whole family from the from Gennaro, former champion world champ, um, Gennaro Hernandez and so on. And also, Rudy Hernandez was opposite corners of me when I fought Masayuko Idos. So he's known for being for training Japanese fighters, and Rudy Hernandez does a great job at doing it. So Nakatani here, Jamel, moving up a weight class. You know, what mentally goes into your first fight at a new weight class? What are you thinking about in those first few rounds? Um, you know, can I hand? At times, you kind of think. Can I handle the size? Because that, that's the that's the main thing at times when moving up to a weight class. Because some of these guys are natural at the weight. And mm -hmm. in terms of you, you probably you have to um, get the grow into. That's why you see a lot of fighters when they move to a weight class. They don't they don't necessarily take big challenges. They kind of like kind of mold themselves into it first, and then you know they get they get their footing. But that's one that's the main thing. But once you feel feel like okay, I can hang with these guys and so on. 
thing, it starts to feel natural, and that's when you start to, you know, come, in, come into rare form. Well, Nakatani's taking on a pretty good challenge here in his first fight at 115 yeah. pounds. Again, Rodriguez ranked inside the top five by the WBO and the IBF, and a former world champion at a lower weight class, and now Rodriguez yeah. pounding yeah. the body but and the uppercuts here in round number two. This is what I mean but with, with Japanese fighters and Mexican fighters getting in the ring together. They, they're, known <laughs> for, yeah, they're known for putting it all on the line. And, you know, Rodriguez probably had a... They probably told him, "Listen, you, you're not gonna be able to outbox this guy. You got to get this man chest, and you got to you got to make it into a fight. You can't. It's not gonna be a boxing match. You got to make it into a fight." Nakatani, though, you know, he has to just be calm, weather the storm, and go back to what it, what he was doing in, in the first round, which was just boxing and using lateral movement. And Rodriguez being spoken to for the holding. Oh. Nakatani just misses with the <laughs> overhand left and comes back with the short right hand. All right now, now this is where Rodriguez wants to be at. He wants to, this, you know, he wants to make it rough. He wants to make it ugly on the inside. He needs to be careful holding the waist with that left hand. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do it, you gotta hide it from the ref. <laughs> That's so right. Those are those um, old veteran tactics. You gotta hide it. Right now, um, Nakatani, I see a lot of head hunting. He needs, he needs to start going for that body, especially on the inside. And bend, and bend at the knee, and bend at the, at the waist, just like that. But he has to work, start working the body from the inside. Nice little shoulder bump from, from Rodriguez to get to make, create some space. But you can tell Nakatani is uncomfortable on the inside. You can just clearly see that. But he wants, to, he wants to just hold on right now, as you see. And Rodriguez wants to use his entire body to yep. wear down Nakatani. Use his head, everything. Make it rough. Leading and See? lunging with those shoulders. And Nagatani's being warm for holding. And that goes back a little bit, too, to being comfortable at the weight. You know, Rodriguez yeah. comfortable at this weight, knows how to use the body as a veteran. Nakatani, maybe a little bit more of a finesse fighter. Yeah, it seems like, yeah, seem like he's more of a boxer than anything. I mean, he's trying to fight him on the inside, but you clearly see that um, Rodriguez is... Oh, like strong left inside. hand over the top from Nakatani. Yeah. And that's from Rodriguez um, being impatient and just, and just throwing whatever to get on the inside instead of working his way in. Again, there it is Nakatani again. Counter from, from Nakatani again. And he gets a Ric Flair woo from Francisco <laughs> Rodriguez after landing that second overhand left. Nice act, nice, man, nice action in the beginning from Rodriguez. That's where, that's where he wants to be at. Ripping, ripping the body, coming to the middle, but he has to get his head over after he after this, his combination. And, and here goes the counter. Boom. Mm. Started too far out. Lunging. It seems like, Jamel, that Nakatani is at least trying to make a concerted effort to maintain that distance. But when you're going up against a bulldog like Rodriguez, who likes to charge at you, it's tough to do for a long stretch of time. Oh, yeah. That's we have to be composed and calm in because when you start panicking and, 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 and you know freaking out <laughs> that's when you leave yourself susceptible to punches and that's when you get counted yourself well it's again going back to the first fight it's kind of what happened to masayoshi oh. nakatani to the smaller fighter shuichiro yoshino yeah, who right. took advantage because he's sending right here he's using his jab peppering but you could rodriguez you have to watch out for him because he, he'll you know he's gonna if he gets in if he lunges in you you better either tie him up or circle out Muscle, like you pointed out from the weight, the, you know, that Marriga is using his weight. And switches again back to Sapo. I guess he figures yeah, he found more success in that in the second round from the Sapo um, stance. Rodriguez eats a shoulder as Nakatani came in. And again, it seems like Rodriguez is perfectly fine making this a wrestling match. Yeah. But you can see also Nakatani's busy looking at the referee to break it up. You can't rely on the referee. You have to, um, you know, the referee isn't always going to be there to save you. So you have to make adjustments to keep Rodriguez off you. Or you have to sit down on the inside yourself and fight back. Good straight left hand 
from Nakatani. And what he did was, by that was he, he, he hit it behind the jab. Mm. Referee has his hands full to this night. <laughs> That's right. Rodriguez trying to play by his own rules. <laughs> yeah. It, it seems like, too, you know, Jamel, that Nakatani, the, the lateral movement that we have seen out of him set, tends to be reactionary rather than, you know, trying to use it to, to separate himself exactly. from Rodriguez. Exactly. He's not, he's, I mean, he's doing a good job with, in, the, in the countering department, but I, give, I see what you mean. Like, it's more, um, he's fighting, or he's fighting more, fighting back. And then right, it's like his, a bullfighter. Yeah. He's got, waiting for Rodriguez to come in instead of trying to dance around him and, right. and, and, you know, utilize that reach advantage that he has. So even there, it seems like he's just waiting for the referee to break him up instead right. of trying to fight back or change it up. You see Rodriguez right now just, just trying to jump right back on him. That's oh, the second warning that he's gotten from the referee. You know, he's got to be careful. The point again, deduction here. When, um, Rodriguez recently, nice, nice counter from Rodriguez. Came I was up gonna with say, that right hand. Yeah, I was going to say when he, when, he, when he tries to get back in, um, he has to start using lateral movement because if Nakatani catches on afterwards, he's, he's like, okay, every time we break up, he's going to try to dart and jump right back in straight ahead. So he has to be wary of that, and Nakatani needs to start catching, picking up on that, and maybe you start throwing that uppercut underneath because uh, Rodriguez is coming in straight line squared up at times. Uh, Rodriguez dancing a delicate dance with the referee right now after <laughs> picking up Nakatani and waltzing with him for a few moments. You know, how much of that, too, Jamel, the, the physicality, the picking up Nakatani, how much of that is mind games, yeah, too? Yeah, oh, yeah, that, that that's definitely what wear on you. Like, listen, I, I, cause I used to do it with some of my opponents. I used to pick them up as well, let you know, listen, I'm still strong. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm physically moving you around. I'm doing what I want to do with you physically. So that can take a toll, especially when, you, when you're moving up to a new weight class. You got you to gotta start playing those mind games to li like, let your opponent know, like, listen, you're still you're you're a, you're a little man. This this is my this is my division. I'm gonna do whatever I want to do in here with you. Well, to Nakatani's credit, he's kept his composure, hasn't been baited into anything out of the ordinary by the tactics of Rodriguez. But who knows? Over the course of a ten round fight, that starts to wear on a guy mentally. And even. Even that right there, when, have you seen Rodriguez jump in the middle of the ring before the bell rang and he's hopping, he's bouncing. He's letting, he's, he's basically telling Nakatani, I still have a ton of energy. Yeah. And as soon as this bell rings, I'm coming right, I'm coming right after you. A little low with the now. right hand from Rodriguez, but Nak Nakatani stumbles back. Ooh. Now a quick combination on the offensive for Junto Nakatani. And what he did right there, he took a, he took a half step back. And he let he let Rodriguez lunge, and that's when he that's when he knew his distance, and he threw those three punch combinations by using his distance. See, you see Nakatani holding the arm on the other end, mm -hmm. convincing the referee to make it believe that Rodriguez was the one holding on as well. That's where Rodriguez wants to be at. He wants to be at distance, half step back, turn him. Rodriguez, he's, I mean, he's where he wants to be at, but instead of jumping in at times, maybe he could start, start start throwing some feints in there to make Nakatani bite and then start his offensive. Because every time he gets some space, Nakatani just knows, okay, he's going to jump in. So let me let me sit down and, and catch him on the way on the on the inside. Yeah, he seemed at least in the past two rounds to be more focused, Rodriguez, on wearing down Nakatani physically than actually outboxing. Him. Yeah. And, and how many warnings is he going to get? Uh, I mean, <laughs> that's warning, what, number five? Uh, at some point, the warnings don't mean anything if you're not going to deduct a point. Right. Nice jab from Nakatani. Good body shot. And, he, oh, oh, and, and an uppercut. uppercut by Nakatani. And it, it, you seen a minute ago, um, Nakatani turned his knuckles down. With his left hand, and that actually that's something that's taught by Rudy Hernandez. Um, if you watch 
some of my CQ Edo's old fights, um, especially when he fought Batu, um, Christopher Batu for Diaz, he turns down with the knuckles, and that's a technique that Rudy Hernandez teaches his fighters. What does that do for you? Um, it basically, you know, it, it basically puts those 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 knuckles onto your, you know onto your head, <laughs> and, that, and that, rather you know rather than the front of your fist. Knuckles crashing down on you, can, you know, can cause a, some a, a, a big impact, and it, it, it can hurt. Some hurtful punches by both of these fighters midway through. But this the is what Robert used to be at. This again. Fifteen seconds to go here in the fourth. The warning on there. Uh. <laughs> no, not that side. <laughs> And you hear him saying, let your hands go right there. Dig, dig. That's what he wants to be at. Yeah. Good back and forth. <laughs> Another brick play. Round. <laughs> and Rodriguez. Uh, he's amped up, that's for sure. Again, takes a half stop back. Boom. Three plus combination. Yeah, the style of Rodriguez definitely leaves him vulnerable if you could take advantage of it. Oh, yeah, of course. He leaves himself uh, when he jumps in. Sometimes he leaves himself squared up. That's when the uppercut comes up the middle. Uh, you can go around. You can go around the elbows to the body. And, you know, if Rodriguez really wants to make it hard for um, Nakatani, start using, start using lateral movement. Be patient. Throw some feints in there. Jab your way in instead of, um, you know, starting out with lunging hooks. And that seemed like there in that last round that it was a good adjustment round by Nakatani. Started to get some momentum going midway through that round. Now we move on to the fifth. I like I like the fact that Rodriguez is now, he tried, he tried to, um, you know, weave his way in. But then again, he started, it goes back out, goes with the throwing the wide shot from the outside. Like that's what he wants to be at. You get under, get under the punches and then get on the inside and go to work. Right now he kind of just dived in with his head, but um, Nakatani didn't catch it in time. To make him pay for it. But that's what Rodriguez, that's his game right there. Yep. Make it ugly on the inside. Chipping away. No, it's over time, you know, that, that can break you mentally because it, it can be frustrating. Yeah. I can see why. He is a pest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rodriguez it's, is a it's, pest it's in there. <laughs> And the, and the woos at the end of the round, you know, that, that stuff still, gets annoying yeah, he's still after hype, a while. Yeah, he's, yeah. And we're not even halfway through. And it's like, man, there's this tight, there's this fight is, is very physical. Especially on a guy who just moved up to a new, well, nice body shot from Rodriguez. A couple of good body shots. Again, well, it's like four in a row. All with the right hand. Oh, nice good, left good by yeah. Nakatani as Rodriguez was coming in. And, and Nagatai has, has hit Rodriguez again with back nice to back key, uppercuts yeah, good. that time. But it, it seems like it doesn't, it's not phasing him. So that can also mess with you mentally as well. Like he's a guy with everything and he still keeps coming. Short uppercuts landing at will for Nakatani here, but Rodriguez not going away, using the shoulder shove. Nice uppercut. Nakatani goes, goes back to the uppercut. Rodriguez answers. Great action here Ooh. in the fifth. Here comes Rodriguez still, still pushing forward. Mm. Nice. And I, and I like the fact that uh, Nakatani actually, he made a good adjustment, you know, especially on the inside. Instead of, you know, throwing with him, going so much with looping hooks, he, you know, he, he showed himself, he, he sat down more and he showed them uppercuts on the inside and he sounds success. Good combination by Rodriguez with Nakatani against the ropes under a minute to go in the Ooh. fifth. And Rodriguez, <laughs> uh, now he's going to get deducted a point. Okay. Is he? Nope. Checking the cut. Oh. They didn't stop. No. Uh, I'm not sure what the stoppage is. I think this, I, help, it, this helps Rodriguez, this is, in, in my opinion, because yeah, of course. He, he's, the, more, he's, more, he's exerting a lot of energy, and, he, and he's, just got a full, he's got a full break. The, the, the referee, though, is talking to Rodriguez like I talked to my four-year-old daughter. She's just <laughs> not listening. At some point, you got to take away her toys and put her in timeout. He's not listening to all these warnings, and he's stern talking to, putting Rodriguez in the corner. It's just not getting through to him. Oh, now he's got a kid with a chopping right hand. 
Nice body shot from Rodriguez. Now I'm telling you, over time, this is very physical. Yeah. And you can see it's taking the toll. Uh, you, you gotta love the body work, and, and, and also, you know, what I'm saying the little adjustments that Nakatani made, but he's gotta, he's gotta basically do something to get some of this guy awful. Now, a question for you, Jamel: If you're in the corner of Nakatani, are, are you talking to the referee in between rounds, saying, "Why are you not deducting a point from this guy? Why are you stopping the fight to talk to him to give him a break and not, and not deducting a point after fifth, sixth, seventh warning here I midway mean, through the fight?" At times, you, 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 your, your, your corner usually does that, especially when the referee comes over to check on you in the corner. Sometimes you, you, you hear your corner say, "Listen, ref, look out for this or look out for that," but. As we all as we all know, you can't always rely on referee response. You have to you have to um, make the own your own adjustments in the ring and go from there. If you be focused too heavily on the referee trying to um, keep the fight clean and it's not going that way, all they're gonna do is frustrate you even more mentally to where you, you're dealing with more than one issue. You're dealing now, you feel like you're fighting against your opponent and the ref. So if to eliminate no. that, you feel like you have to just blank, you have to just tune everything out and just go in there and make the own you make the proper adjustments yourself. Rodriguez has averaged a warning per round here, but still no point <laughs> deductions. And he's not making it easy for, for Nakatani. No, he's either. not. And it seems like every time Nakatani gets something going, Rodriguez just lowers his head and starts wailing away to get back into it. Nice jab from Rodriguez. Not another one. That's probably, and that's probably rare because usually we see nothing but hooks and big bombs from Rodriguez, just like right there. Good defense from Rodriguez. But right here is what Nakatani wants to be. Just box and, and circle. Box and circles. He has to watch, Nakatani has to watch out when he exits, when he exits from those guys that his um, offensive combinations because he leaves up for exposure. Oh, nice straight left hand by Nakatani. Oh. Comes back with it again. And here goes Rodriguez with his. <laughs> Four landed straight left hands here in the early parts of the sixth round by Junto Nakatani. Great start. Another one, another one two down the middle. So he's saying he's found a home with that left hand. But that's what he wants to be. At. See how he's not smothering himself and he's keeping the distance and he's just boxing. That's what he wants to do. Nice, nice little sneaky uppercut there from Nakatani as well. Yeah, there's another one. This one for a low blow. We need a stash sheet for how many warnings <laughs> that, that Rodriguez has got. But he's game. Good combination by Rodriguez with Nakatani against the ropes. You know, and, and uh, Jamel Nakatani, you know, may have you know won a few rounds in this fight, but he has not dominated a round oh, no. from start to finish by oh, any. No. He, he, any round he's won, he's had to work for it. Right. I'll tell you that much. And I see there's a cut. Right in the corner of Nakatani's right eye. Yep. And some blood coming out of the nose and mouth of so, Rodriguez as well. And I'm telling you right now, with a guy like Rodriguez, if he sees blood, even though he's bleeding as well, that's gonna only that's only blood that's gonna motivate him. Nice one-two combination from Nakatani. 35 seconds to go here in round number six. Back with that straight left, which has found a home here in this sixth round. And again, Rodriguez. Like a middle linebacker tackling Nakatani into the ropes. Let me tell you, that takes a lot out of you. Um, the tackling and getting off the, off the canvas, that does sap your legs and energy over, over time. So these rough tactics, you know, they take a toll. And you always wonder, too, how the judges look at the physical, you know, physicality of a guy like Rodriguez, how that factors into them scoring a fight. <laughs> See his little face up in the end. But yeah, um, for the most part, judges usually go off, um, you know, the crew at who's been landing the clean of blows, ring generalship, and defense. Out of behind, the, he hit that left hand behind the jab, right down the middle. Blind him with, blind him with the jab. And throw, the, throw the left, follow with the left hand, boom. And he was on the outside of Rodriguez's foot, so he so he, it would be hard for um, Rodriguez to kind of back with his right hand. This is 
this fight gets deeper and deeper. Junto Nakatani has never been past the ninth round in his career. His most recent fight in April was a knockout victory in the eighth. This one only scheduled for 10, but Rodriguez has not slowed down at all. Nope. But I like how Nagatani has made the adjustments in, um, in boxing, to boxing. And even on the inside, you know, he's, he sat down, he's bending the knees, got his little sneaky uppercut in as well. Oh, nice one, two down the middle. And <laughs> maybe Rodriguez is changing his stance. We're about to see, we're about to stop all. Now, Rodriguez has eaten a lot of those straight left hands the past couple rounds. The game is going to go to Sapo. He has to watch out for uh, uh, throwing a lazy jab. He just got, he just got hit again with a big left hand. Are we going to get a point deduction now? Nope. Nope. I don't, I don't want to get that. Uh, whatever. Low blow. No point deduction. But letting the referees, or the, letting, the, letting the judges know and giving Nakatani time to He gave him a recover. timeout. Yeah. That's all he did was give him to give Rodriguez a timeout. Uh, Rodriguez what. came right back on and jumped right back on him. Yeah, no, no ice cream after dinner for Rodriguez. <laughs> well, so far, that seems to make a difference. Right now, oh, Nakatani found, found his rhythm. But, but he gave, then sometimes he gives it right back, though. Right, exactly. Nice. I thought that that I, I like that little left hand, the, the little the left hand to the body would have slowed down Rodriguez, but nope. Right, he's jabbed up from Nakatani. Now yeah, now he has on um, Rodriguez on the back foot, something that that's rare. We, we've seen rare in, in this fight so far. Nice overhand left hand by Nakatani. Right. Follows it up with the one-two combination. Sticky move. Just pepper on the one-two, one-two. Oh, nice short nice. left hook by Rodriguez. Here he comes. Nice jab from Rodriguez. a difficult fight to score, Jamel. Yeah. And I'm assuming that Nagatani's up, but just that, like I said again, every round he's win, he's won. He's had, you know, he has to earn. Right. He has, he's earned it. There, there hasn't been, it doesn't feel like to me, there hasn't been a lot of clear-cut rounds for nah. either guy. No. Nah. Like stuff like that, leaning on the head, the headlocks, that takes a lot out of you. Mm -hmm. it takes away, it takes a lot out of your legs. And, and um, Rodriguez wants to do that because a guy like Nakatani, he's going to box and you, you use the ring. So you want to, you want to, you know, sap as much energy as you can to keep him where you want him. End of seven in a scheduled ten between Junto Nakatani and Francisco <laughs> Rodriguez. They did. It was that body shot. I thought it was going to slow down Rodriguez, but he still kept pushing forward. But nice, you know, nice boxing from Nakatani. Came back up with a one-two. Everything starts with the jab. The second fight on our televised card for you. Coming up next, the WBO Light Flyweight Championship. Jonathan Gonzalez defends his WBO belt against Shokichi Iwata. And then it'll be the WBC WBA Light Flyweight Unification fight between Kenshiro Taraji and Hiroto Kayaguchi in the main event. We got a good one here between Junto Nakatani and Francisco Rodriguez. Nakatani making his debut at 115 pounds after vacating his WBO flyweight championship belt last week. And Rodriguez, very game, former 
WBO IBF strawweight world champ and currently ranked in the top five by both the WBO and the IBF at 115 pounds. Eric Rothman, Jamel Herring here with you in these fights from Saitama, Japan. Good back and forth action as Rodriguez punishing with the combination to start round number eight. It's tough. Rodriguez, like you said, he's game. Nagatani started out really, oh, nice double uppercut. There we go. <laughs> Here comes Rodriguez. Answer by Rodriguez right <laughs> yeah. back. You just wake above, you know, it, make, it just makes him mad. Back to the uppercuts goes Nagatani. Oh, forehead to forehead. But this is where Rodriguez wants to be at. They create a little space with the elbows, right. you see? Yep. A little low, but that first one, but that second one was right on, right on the belt. Ooh, Ooh good combination. Nice uppercut. Tani answers. Nice combination from Rodriguez. The body, the body shot, shot with the right hand from Nakatani. That slowed Rodriguez down for a moment, Back Jamel. Up, uh, here he comes. Here he comes. Boom. Hmm. There's a cut under Rodriguez's eye. Yep, left eye. Uh, yeah, for the uppercuts, more than likely. But, yeah, hey, he's spent his guy's game. A fun fight. Nakatani going backwards, still connecting. And they've been non-stop for two minutes straight. Rodriguez, Rodriguez has been non-stop for eight rounds now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really has. Nice body work from Rodriguez. Ooh, and the overhand oh. right back to back from Rodriguez. Pushes Nakatani against the ropes. Nakatani needs to get back to the center of the ring. He need, that's where he needs to be at. And go back to boxing. Yes, we, yes, he, he's done great work on the inside, but you know his whole game is the box. One he, yeah, he has to bring, one he has to bring that. Yeah, he has to bring that left hand back because he dropped it and got countered. Overhand left lands for Nakatani. Let's see who closes out the round strong. Two rounds to go. It's a good fight. It's a really good fight. I, I have, you know, if we get to the scorecards by the judges, I have absolutely no idea. I would like to see uh, how it's going to be scored. Uh, you have the, I think you have the chance here, Jamel, of having a couple wildly different scorecards. Oh yeah. It all depends with the, um, the judges like. I mean, right there you see Nakatani doing a lot of great work on the inside, but don't be fooled. Um, Rodriguez had it. He had a lot of great moments in that last round as well. Doubling up. Nice combination. Nice combination work from Nakatani. You know, make no mistake that Rodriguez, by and large, has dictated the style of the fight. But the Very question true. is, is it enough to win him rounds? You know, the wrestling, the pushing, the holding, the warnings. Again, I, I think it's going to come down in terms of scoring with the judges to cleaner shots. And Nakatani has been, you know, his punches have been more crisp and cleaner. But again, um, Rodriguez has pushed him back a, a, a quite a bit. Yeah. It made it ugly and rugged. So you just never know. This is why I don't I don't envy judges. No. 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 Thank you. That one-two combination, that straight left hand, has been there for Nakatani, but he seems to utilize it early in the round and then get away from it pretty quickly. Fell in though. The body shot from Nagatani. A little low with the left hand by Rodriguez. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. Nice jab from Rodriguez. Something that's rare. <laughs> See, it's things like that that that, um, that makes it difficult for Nakatani. Like, that's a Rodriguez. Oh, nice little sneaky uppercut from Nakatani. But that's Rodriguez's whole game. And yeah, and, and he can't rely on the referee to always break it up. So you always gotta you always gotta be de um, def defensive at all times with a guy like Rodriguez. Rodriguez nice one, catching him with the left hand. Yeah. And a counter right hook by Rodriguez as well. 
Oh, that's a nice hook from Rodriguez. Ooh, big left hand comes in from Rodriguez. It's back in Nakatani. Knock, yeah, Nakatani didn't like that one bit. Well, nice counter from Nakatani. Nakatani's taking control of this round again by boxing, using his jab. This is really the first time in this fight we've seen Rodriguez take off a significant portion of a round. Hasn't done much here in the last minute. They're trying to get, they're trying to get each other to bait right now, to bite on something. That's why you see Nakatani just pulling it out there. He's trying to get Rodriguez to, to react. Swelling and a cut under the eye, the left eye of Rodriguez. Rodriguez maybe trying to save up some energy for the 10th round. Definitely to the round off. A little bit tired there. 10th and final round upcoming. Oh, good left hand, big hand, left hand from Rodriguez there in that exchange. Again, Nagatani using his um his length and reach. Between Junto Nakatani and Francisco Rodriguez. If we get through this 10th round, it's going to be really interesting how these judges score it. Oh, yeah. I think Rodriguez took that round off to probably make this a big round. And he may need it. You like, But again, you don't know what the judges are scoring here. Uh, if you're Rodriguez, don't, don't get away from what got you here through the first eight rounds. Why take off the ninth and then come out slow in the 10th? And also, and also, remember where you're at. You know, you are right. on foreign territory here in, in his matchup. So you don't, like, again, like, just as much as we don't know what the judges are scoring, he doesn't know as well either. So he might, he may need to take it to another gear. Yeah, potentially a knockout. Honestly, he may need, he need that as well, or a knockdown or something. Saying, watch your heads. Big right hand loops in from Rodriguez. He needs to work. That's the end. Work. He has to work from there. Uppercut from Nakatani on the inside goes back to the uppercut off the ropes. Here comes Nakatani. Nice jab from Rodriguez. He's game still. Absolutely. Like right now, Nakatani is basically fighting to keep him off. Midway through Ooh. the 10th round. Nice combination from Rodriguez in the center of the ring. I would love to see the punch that <laughs> for this fight. Overhand left. Swoops in from Nakatani. Nice combination, but he got caught. Nakatani oh, got caught. Tip with left hook from Rodriguez. Got caught again. Nakatani answers with the left of his own. Great finish here in the 10th round. Still have a minute to go. Leaving it all in the ring. Oh. Oh, Rodriguez. Nakatani stumbling a little bit. Rodriguez pushing forward. Nakatani answers with the left hook and then escapes the ropes. Good action from both men. 
very entertaining fight between these two. I'll tell you one thing, they're gonna wake up very sore in the morning. <laughs> That's I right. promise you that. Straight combination. Oh. Left hands landing for Nakatani, back to the Wait, jab. Yeah. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. The hook. Ten seconds to go. Short left hand for Rodriguez. Very physical fight. Great fight <laughs> between these two. <laughs> they won't forget it, I'll tell you that much. A lot of respect in the end. Rodriguez, no doubt, gave it everything he had against the up-and-coming Juto Nakatani. What will the scorecards read is the question now after 10 rounds. I, I feel that um, Nakatani potentially pulled it out. I just I just want to see the difference in the score. Right. Because <laughs> I believe right. I believe he, he definitely um he may have started that last round was a little slow because Rodriguez seemed like he was on like he was definitely on, like on one there. But um, Nakatani definitely finished that round strong and this was stuff that you see right there one two combination using his distance and range. And again, we, we talked about in the middle of the fight, you know, you, you could have potentially awarded every fight to knock it, uh, every round to Nakatani, but it was never a round where it was a dominating yeah, nah, round by yeah. Nakatani. I understand yeah, Nakatani had the more crisp and cleaner punches. Judge Asao Kazurobu, 98 Tai, 91. Judge Katsuragi Akihiko, 99 Tai, 90. Ijo, 3 Tai 0 no unanimous decision was just a show. Unanimous decision victory for Junto Nakatani. Well earned. Well earned, that's for sure. He had to fight for that one.